guys, today I'm doing a video that is a little bit different. I have never done an empties video and I find these videos extremely helpful so I have been saving my empties and now that I have enough to do a video, that's what I'm gonna do today. My very first empty is Vanacream. Now, when my mom went to her dermatologist, he recommended Vanacream. My sister is a registered nurse, and she always used this stuff at the hospital. I'm not sure exactly where all it's sold, but where I purchased this is at the pharmacy. You do not need a prescription for it, but that is where it's sold. This comes in a lotion and a cream form. I like the cream form, and this is, kind of, this is a big tub, but I go through it. It's really good for sensitive skin, which is perfect for me, but it's also perfect for my babies. I do not find Johnson & Johnson's baby lotion lotion to be moisturizing at all. It smells amazing, but it doesn't moisturize, and I find that it irritates dry skin, and this has been a lifesaver for my baby's dry skin and for my dry skin. Next up, I have my face wash. I use the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. I like this because it is not very drying. A lot of face washes will just suck everything out of your skin, but this doesn't. It really leaves the moisture on your face, but it takes away the grime and the makeup and all that so I feel like it does a really good job and it has helped my skin look much much better. Okay this next product I'm not kidding you when I tell you some products work really good some products work okay this product works amazing this is very good stuff I just happened to find it when I was in Sephora and it's called the oh I don't know if I'm saying this right Ceramidin I call it Ceramidin I think that's what it's called. It is, it's a liquid and that's all it says. It's just liquid. <laughs> and what I think it is, it, there's not even like an explanation of really what this is, but it's a skin barrier protective line. Helps make the skin healthier. Uh, formulated for sensitive skin. It's basically a serum and serums tend to go deeper into the skin than moisturizers do so I use a serum on my face before I use a moisturizer. It took me many years to figure out that my skin personally needs a serum and this by Dr. Jart is a really really good one that I feel like works really well. I'm on my second bottle. My second bottle is about halfway empty now and um, and when I did notice, when I stopped using it, my face, like I could see the scales a little bit more, you know? And that sounds terrible, but I'm not kidding you when I tell you I have really dry skin. So, this is good for sensitive dry skin. All right, what else do I got in here? So, I'll just go with the face moisturizer next because I use the serum and then I use a face cream. And... I'm going to show you two right now. I was using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, and I liked this for several years. I used this for several years, and it is a really good product. I like it. There's not very many Clinique products that I like. I do not like their makeup. I don't feel like it is very good quality, and I still feel like it's a little bit expensive, but I do like the lotion. I've used this for a really long time. I just... I don't know, it just, really, it just really wasn't cutting it for me anymore. Um, and I found this Mario Badescu Skin Care. This is the AHAA and Ceramide Moisturizer. Now, I have used two different types of this. On the side, it has skin type listed, and this is for sensitive oily skin. The one I have upstairs that I'm using is for sensitive dry skin. And I like them both. I really didn't see a difference, and... I just liked them both. So the Mario Badescu skincare line is really good. I actually use their night cream. It's a seaweed night cream. It's the best I have ever tried. It is a little more pricey, but for me personally, I do not mind spending a lot on my foundations or my skincare products because to me, it's really important to have my skin flawless. I don't care if my eyes and my lips look perfect. If my skin isn't looking good, then to me, it's just pointless. <laughs> No, I know it's not pointless, but it's important to me to have moisturized, nice skin. So these two products, I think, work really well. This one's the best, though. Okay, MAC Studio Fix. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't as a facial setting spray. I use it to intensify my eyeshadows. It's okay, that's why I always buy the travel size because I never know if I'm gonna get sick of it or not. So I just stick with the little travel sizes because they're cheaper and I'm not really ready to commit to the big size, you know? 
Okay, I do have the All Night Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. And I did purchase the large one after I used this because I do feel like it keeps my makeup on all day. But on the other hand, my makeup stays on all day anyway. I do not have a problem with it coming off. And I think that is because I have dry skin so everything just gets sucked up to my face. But I do like the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. This empty is my husband's empty, and this is, okay, so let me tell you, my husband likes stiff hair, but he doesn't like shiny stiff hair, he likes it to look matte, and that was a really hard product for me to find. We went through several hair products trying to find a good one for my husband, and this one is a very good one. I love Paul Mitchell, I've used it literally my entire life. I remember growing up, we always had Paul Mitchell. My mom is so sweet, but um, this is called Reformer Stronghold Matte Finish, and it is a, it is a texturizer, um, and oh, this bad boy is empty. I wanted to show you, you can see just a little bit in there, it's like a, it's like a wax cream, it's like a waxy cream. Um, this has by far been one of our favorites for sure. My husband's hair is thinning on top and this, I don't know what it is, but it does make his hair look more thick and fuller. So that's a good thing. Okay, I just have a couple more and then I am done. This is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation and I used it for a long time. There are pros and cons to every foundation. The one thing I can say about this foundation is that it comes in a very pale shade, very pale. I am actually wearing it today, and yeah, I liked it, and I, I repurchased it, so I must have liked it. So there you have it, it's empty, and this bad boy's empty. I think what I'm actually gonna do now that I've showed you is crack it open and make sure I get every last little drop out of it. Okay, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. You've all seen me use it. And there's a couple things that they have changed with this. So on one end, you have the spoolie and you have a short cap. On this end, you have the makeup and it's a long end. Do you know how many times I had the lid cranked up I would take the short side and I would cram it onto my makeup and I would crunch like a half inch of my, my makeup and every time I swear I was just like, I swear if you don't learn for next time, rah! like it made me so mad. And now the new pencils, they the lids are the same size so either lid can go on either side and I guarantee that they redid that on purpose because everyone is having that problem. I know it. I know it. Something else about this pencil is the first couple I've gone through several, I know, don't judge, um, I have gone through several of these pencils and I used to find that the pencil would slide out all the time and it made me mad. I was like, if I'm paying 20 bucks for a stinking pencil, you better stay where you're supposed to stay and the sound of it has changed. I can hear when I twist it, it's like the mechanics in it is different and I haven't had a problem with the pencil falling out anymore. And I know it's because they redid that too. So good job, Anastasia. So that is all for my empties. I actually really enjoyed doing this video. It was a little bit different than just doing a makeup tutorial. If you like these type of videos, leave me a comment below so I know or give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching me and supporting me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I will, so. <laughs>